It is our pleasure to welcome into the Rowdy Studio Marcus Smith from Speedway Motorsports Incorporated and Charlotte Motor Speedway. Thanks for stopping by. Good to be here. Absol Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. We wanted to talk to you just sort of about growing up in the sport and what that was like. Was it always preordained that you were going to be in the family business or did you have aspirations in other directions? I really enjoyed the, uh, the, the business end of the sport. I loved the uh, just working with fans and working with our customers, working with uh, with sponsors, and uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. The whole it, it runs the gamut, all the things that you can do. I, I took kind of a tour of duty in every department and uh, and enjoyed that a lot. And mm -hmm. then from that point, I kind of set my my sights on working at the Speedway and. Um, and that's that's what I did. So uh, I've enjoyed it since. Did you ever try your hand behind the wheel? I mean, you talked to Clay Campbell, Joey Chitwood, guys who are now track executives that drove at some points in their career. Did you ever climb behind the wheel of a car competitively? Not, uh, not you know, with the idea of being a race car driver. Uh, my brother did that, and uh, and he he enjoyed it and was pretty good at it. But um, no, I I just did it for fun. Raced uh, Legends cars uh -huh. and. Uh, in fact, my first sponsor was Burger King. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Legends car was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then they, I don't know who, Tony Stewart, I think they went to some uh, guy named some, some has been. Some yeah, 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 that's right, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Did you ever have a time when you said to yourself, the last thing I want to be involved with is racing? You know, get me out and I want to do something totally different. Just yeah, to actually, yeah, sure. I mean, in, in, uh, in high school, I remember I thought, you know, I'm really not interested in racing. Um, was thinking about, you know, medicine, Maybe I'll be a, a banker. Maybe right. you know I, I got to figure out something. Maybe one day, but I, I really wasn't thinking about it much. But I really wasn't into racing. And then um, when we had the first um, all-star race under the lights, yeah. when Kyle and and Davey yes. finished, that's when like Davey wrecked and won the yeah. race. We didn't know it. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That was kind of my first race that I really enjoyed it and said, you know what, I'm a race fan. Now you're a fan of the sport. Yeah, actually. yeah, absolutely. It, what's interesting is I read a quote from your dad when you um, took over at Charlotte Motor Speedway where, where he said, you in your heart are first and foremost a race fan. What is it from a fan, if you can put on that fan hat, what is it that you connect with or that you love about the sport as a fan? I just get into it. I don't know. I love the idea of uh, you know going as fast as you possibly can yeah. and pushing the tires to the limits and right. beyond. And um, it's uh, there's nothing like it. Yeah, the G-forces around the corner has always kind of surprised me when we get in, got in the car a couple of times. Like, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Anyone oh, who man. doesn't think this is a sport, just <laughs> yeah. hop in here and we, try. We it. actually did a driving experience at, at Charlotte. Charlotte, and it was fantastic. That yeah. is, I think, you know, a driving experience. If you haven't done that before. It is a phenomenal experience. It's an eye opener. It is. It is. I think that's where you kind of realize, you know what, this takes some serious skill yep. and athleticism, because you know holding that line, you lap after lap by yourself is yes. one thing. It's hard. But Ten laps by yourself is a super yeah. challenge. And being yeah. consistent. Yeah. I mean, I didn't do it, and I've done it at least once a year. You know, for the last ten or fifteen years, and yeah. I, but then to do it with. 42 other guys on the track i, I can't imagine it's, part, like. it's crazy yeah so for, for the 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 marathon that that a race like the 600 yeah is i mean that yeah it's it's nuts yeah the 600 blows my mind <laughs> it absolutely blows my mind it, it is it's the iron man race of nascar it it's, is uh, it's an awesome were there race. guys growing up race car drivers that you met or that you rooted for did you have any encounters with that are kind of interesting stories or david pearson richard petty were my two favorites uh, -huh. uh growing up those are i mean pretty good ones oh they're awesome <laughs> they're you got awesome. about 300 plus wins with those two guys <laughs> yeah yeah but i mean you know bobby allison and kill yarborough i love those guys and I just loved watching them. My, my dad would get us out of school early on Wednesday because that's when qualifying was. Uh -huh. And we would go out to the Speedway. We would, uh, you know, call the night before to one of our friends and ask if they'd like to go with us. So we could, my, my brothers and I, we could each take one friend. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, and it was it was a ton of fun. But we would always go down into the pits and we kind of watch qualifying right from pit wall didn't think a thing about it you know just sitting there kid. on the wall watching yeah. the call i mean right Doesn't now everybody I'd, do this <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. it was yeah i mean you're, you're this is what you do right? right and um and we would see you know the king and just uh you know go up to the king and you know take his picture ask him to sign you know our arm or you know <laughs> something and uh it's i've got some old polaroids with uh with my brothers and i uh standing with with richard petty and uh and our friends and it was it's pretty cool to look back on those and see um i mean we were kids down in the pits and there were a lot more people i think in the pit area that were 
you know, not necessarily working in the sport. It was more of a fan thing, or mm-hmm. maybe you know somebody that knows somebody, so you got some pit passes. Right. And um, now there's a lot more, you know, rules and regulations. Right. You got a bunch of media in there, and a yeah. bunch of people work for these teams. Yeah. And Although actually this year, um, to NASCAR's credit, th- this year there's actually no dress code on uh sunday on the cup day before the race which is awesome the fans love that you can wear your flip-flops you can wear your shorts and then uh there's no uh age restriction either so as a fan if you buy a pit pass in uh in charlotte for the upcoming weekend you can uh get a pit pass for an adult it's a hundred dollars for a pit pass but your kids pit pass is free so i can go in there take my kids with me and uh and hey, Cutler, you could be stuff. my son we could you know, there you go no, no yeah. i'm taking my own son what do i want you for <laughs> i got a kid ah, we got credentials yeah, anyway. yeah. <laughs> now, we, we heard a story that you kind of used the speedway to break the news to your dad that he was going to be a grandfather for the first time you know uh <laughs> <laughs> well actually he he is the one that did it he uh <laughs> yeah he was so excited he broke the news to you <laughs> <laughs> he did it he's he's so excited about uh, the first grandbaby and uh my son graham he ended up putting you know, Graham on the uh, on the grass across the infield grass on the just on the front stretch right there, and uh, to he was so excited about having his first grandson. That that's pretty that's cool. really cool. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. really cool. Well, Marcus, listen, thanks for coming in. Great to hear about uh, your time growing up in the sport, and look forward to these two weeks in Charlotte. Look forward to seeing you guys too out at the track. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we've got so much going on for the fans, and uh, everybody, come out and join us. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Robbie.com.